Private Bradley Manning was sentenced today to 35 years in prison. The prosecution had asked for a 60-year prison term, arguing that such a stiff sentence would send a strong message to other people thinking about leaking information. Manning's case will immediately be reviewed by the Army Court of Criminal Appeals since he has been sentenced to more than a year in prison. The two-month trial in a military court at Fort Meade was presided over by Judge Denise Lind, who is an Army colonel, and it was one of the most controversial trials in recent US history. Certainly telling the truth about what we're doing in Afghanistan and Iraq does shame this country, and of course it brings comfort to our enemies. The way to stop that is to stop doing things that require secrecy because they're so illegal and so shameful. Bradley Manning was sent to Iraq in 2009 after signing up. He was working as an intelligence analyst. During this time in Iraq, he was exposed to some horrific images and documents showing that members of the US armed forces had tortured and even killed innocent Iraqis. He decided the public needed to see those classified documents and he released them via WikiLeaks. The most notorious piece of footage he leaked is known as the collateral murder video. Come on, fire. It shows a US Apache helicopter killing a group of civilians and journalists. At the start of his trial, Bradley Manning described the feelings that those images stirred up. They dehumanized the individuals they were engaging and seemed to not value human life by referring to them as, quote, dead bastards, unquote, and, for, and congratulating each other on the ability to kill. No one was ever indicted or charged for the collateral murder incident. The Pentagon were quick to discover the source of the leak and Bradley Manning was arrested in Iraq in May 2010. He was taken to Camp Arifjan in Kuwait, a US Army base where he was detained. He was then taken to the United States where he spent more than three years in detention. A large part of that in solitary confinement in conditions the UN described as cruel, inhumane and degrading. During the trial, the prosecution argued that Manning should have known the documents he blew the whistle on would become available to Al-Qaeda. They said that some of the documents made their way to Osama bin Laden and endangered US lives. But a counterintelligence official testified at the trial that they hadn't uncovered a single example of anyone who had lost their lives as a result of the leaked information. His arrest, detention and trial sparked a huge movement calling Bradley Manning a hero and demanding his release. We will, we will free you. The truth will free us all. And then there was the counter campaign. It called him a traitor and questioned various aspects of his personality. And this was a huge PR win for the army in the Pentagon because it distracted people from the facts. It kept people focused on Manning himself rather than what we learned from the leaks. More than 100,000 people died in Iraq in a war that removed the dictator but had little to do with the war on terror. The country that was invaded is still today suffering from deadly sectarian violence on an almost daily basis. Whilst Manning now faces 35 years in prison, it's unlikely that the people in the collateral murder video will ever face any charges. Go back to bed, America. Your government has figured out how it all transpired. Go back to bed, America. Your government is in control again.